<coughs> the seals on these things, when you actually buy them, most of them are actually the, the seals come off purely because they have to check them in the in the stores now to make sure that what's in the box is uh, correct. So, but anyway, instruction manuals, driver CD. We have a hand strap. We have a remote control, very useful. Audio, video, cables of every sort of kind you could ever wish to have. USB leads, uh, mains plug. We have the battery. <coughs> Suppressor. The charger, which I think is the same as the old JVC chargers. Um, I've actually got another JVC, it was a cheap one, which the audio is broken on that as well. So I haven't actually got a proper working camcorder, uh, another suppressor, and the camera. The other thing about the Sanyo HD one is the batteries don't last very long and they get very very hot. And this one's about to cut out so I'll probably have to come back in a bit when it's the other one's charged up. So, what people don't do with these camera reviews is they, give, they don't give you uh, a sample of the old sort of standard definition and then you go to the 720p and then you go to the 1080p. I know YouTube doesn't actually do 1080 but hopefully you'll be able to see some form of difference. So what I'll do is, I'll have a, a play. And I'll come back. Right, let's go through the menus. Um, you've got the all important drop detection. As it's a hard drive camera, you need that on in case you do actually drop it and the hard drive heads actually park so as you don't damage the hard drive or you stand less chance of damaging the hard drive. You've got your monitor backlight, which is obviously the brightness of the backlight. You've got your monitor brightness, which is the contrast of the light of the, uh, the monitor. Date and time display style, so you can have UK or US. You can have 12 or 24 hour. You've got your clock adjust, language, so if you want to speak a foreign language or learn one then that's up to you. And you've got your stream format as I've said, so you've got MPEG2, Transport Stream or AVCHD, whatever that stands for. So, headphone volume adjust, don't know, microphone level settings, I would have thought that would have been for an external mic. Microphone level, the wind cut, obviously, if there's any, if you've got wind, whatever. Focus assist, which I haven't actually looked at this, you've got red, green, or blue. I don't know. And then you go on to your basic settings, which will take you back to your format, your, um, yeah, whatever. So you've got your core media. Uh, for image, you can either set to your hard drive or your USD card. Oh yeah, if you press the index key up there, it actually gives you what's uh, what you've got left on your hard drive. Oh, yeah, the uh, 1440 CBR, it actually does <coughs> a variable bit rate as well as fixed. So you use variable bit rate and it saves um, saves hard drive space. Register event, don't know. XVC or XV color, I really don't know yet. Gain up, don't know. Disc, which I think is the handshake. Uh, zoom, sorry, the handshake is like um, still image. It's still a, oh, whatever. 
you've got your zoom uh, you can have your 10 times which is just a standard optical zoom or you can have your 10 times zoom and it's actually a four times digital zoom or obviously the, two, the 200 times digital zoom but the higher the the higher the zoom the greater the pixelation so I'll have that on there video quality you can have FHD which is high quality uncompressed or you can have the 1440 CBR which is the well, I presume that's a variable bit right I don't know I don't care all I know is I'm going to have it all on the basic set well all on the highest settings I can possibly have that's the whole idea of it so what I'll do now is I'll do some video comparison between this one and the old one right this is with the old JVC standard definition but I've, I've got to upscale it to 720 to keep it in keep it in line with the high definition of YouTube so I'm, I don't know I mean, on the display the colours look pretty crap actually in comparison and this is with the new JVC it looks a hell of a lot brighter than the uh, the Sanyo one so anyway just for a quick quick cap on this server that I've built so we've got two 320 gig Western Digital Scorpio black drives they are the operating system and in there we've got there's actually six drives in there uh, there's four one terabyte drives and two 500 gig drives we've got some uh, Crucial Ballistics Tracer RAM which I had lying around just used it um, that's actually an Adaptic um, 2610 SA uh, RAID controller which is actually rebuilding the RAID now no, hang on, it's only 4 terabytes. Oh, in total storage, it's about 5.5 terabytes, I think. And you like my super case modification? But this actually sits in a cupboard. So, oh, there's a switch on the front as well where I can turn the, uh, the 1 terabyte drives off. And it cuts, out, it cuts down on uh, noise a lot, excuse me. Let's just have a look at that, see if it does dark light any better. Oh, a hell of a lot better. I mean, looking at the quality of this, I think it's uh, far superior. I'll do another one with the old JVC now. Just a side-by-side -side comparison, if I can actually get this right. There's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. As you can see, the the new JVC, the quality is a lot better. Hell of a lot better. The colour saturation is uh, a hell of a lot better. Lovely. Right, one of the main features of these with the hard drive cameras, with the hard drive uh, bollocks, 